sleeves too long but you don't have a sewing machine, no problem. With just a few common sewing supplies and 30 minutes of your time, you too can shorten the sleeves on your trucker jackets, chore coats or any other similar shirt jackets like this OG108 flannel over shirt which I'll be using in this video. Okay, let's get to it. Step 1. Measure how much you want to shorten the sleeves. Mine will be 1.5 cm. So using a chalk, I'll draw a line 1.5 cm above the seam line. This is where my new seam line will be. Step 2. Unpick the stitches with a seam reaper. You don't need to unpick all the stitches running along the cuff, just where the sleeve and cuff meet. Step 3. Draw a line 1.5 cm above the end of the sleeve or however much you want to shorten the sleeve by. Now cut along that line. Step 4. Pin the sleeve between the cuff ensuring it sits nicely without any excess fabric bunching. This should coincide with the new seam line that you've marked earlier. Starting from about half an inch below the top edge of the cuff, we'll sew up here, then along here, and then back down half an inch. We'll do this using a backstitch, which is the strongest way to stitch by hand. To sew a backstitch, first thread and knot your needle. From the underside of the cuff, push the needle through it. Instead of going forward, go back to the hole of the previous stitch. Then push the needle out to create the next stitch. And back down to the hole right before it. Okay, let's do that again. Push the needle out like this, then back to the hole of the previous stitch. Ideally, you'd want to make sure the stitches are all the same length so that they all look nice and even. Okay, one last time. Go up and back down the previous hole. Now keep sewing the back stitch until you reach around this part of the cuff. Many, many minutes later. At your last stitch, Push the needle down the previous hole like what you've been doing so far and flip the cuff. We are nearly there. To form a knot, push the needle through a little bit of fabric and under a stitch to form a loop. Then put the needle into the loop twice or maybe thrice and pull through. Next, fit the needle under a stitch. Then again under another stitch. And finally, cut off the excess thread. Step 5. Iron the seams to set them in place and repeat steps 1 to 5 on the other sleeve. And with that, your sleeves are now shortened. Until next time, stay subtle.